What's going on? It's your boy, yes, B. All right, so as you know, we follow my Amazon journey, my life journey, my, even down to my music journey. Shout out to my new project that just came out, Dreams of Motivation, Volume 1. If you haven't copped that yet, it's on iTunes. Link will be in the bio. Go check it out. But on my work journey with Amazon, I've been at the crossroads of trying to leave corporate to be an AM manager, area manager, whether it be in the warehouse or even a cross dock, somewhere, anywhere outside of corporate. <laughs> but my stance has changed. So I'm at the point right now where I will no longer be putting in for any AM position, whether it's in a warehouse, cross dock, or anything, because I no longer think it would be the best position to be in for me. <laughs> I no longer want that management position. I think it will be better to stay hourly than go into a manager salary position. So first thing, this is all just my opinion for my journey. There's a few reasons why I say that. And the first one is not in any order, but the first one that I'll touch on, I think is gonna be a big issue. And that is the stress. <laughs> you like, it's a manager. Of course, it's gonna be stressful. No, 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 no. We are going into a new time, not just for work, as a country, y'all think it's bad. It ain't even as we ain't even there yet, but we're going into some new times economically, which will lead us in new times socially. Um, it's going to get bad. I've said that plenty of times, but in the workplace, the stress level, I believe is not going to be worth it to be dealing with. In regular times, you will have people dealing with stress, you know, from work. Oh, man, I'm just stressed out. This was a stressful day, man. It was a lot of stuff going on today. Oh, man, it was just tough. You know, at the end of the day, once the stress is relieved and now they're like, all right, cool. They high fiving each other, talking about if Jeff Basil is here, I'll rub his head five times and run. <laughs> you know, it's all love and games. But, oh, we're going to get some new stress. You know, this is going to be some stress that the workplace hasn't seen before because we're going to have people that's not just dealing with work stress. They're going to be dealing with life stress. I'm talking about they don't know how they're going to make their next payment for rent or even they haven't made their payment for rent and it's been five, six days and they, you know, thinking about an eviction notice every single day they go home because they ain't got enough to pay the rent. On top of that, they're struggling with food. On top of that, the countless of other things. Or what about the people who can no longer afford childcare while at work? So they, you know, they got three, four kids. They got one kid watching all the kids, which they know they shouldn't do, but they have to do now because they don't have any type of finances to cover childcare anymore. So now they're stressed at work on top of what in the world is going on at their house with their kids. Hopefully they job let them have their phone on them. Do you see what I'm do you see where I'm going with this? And that's just a few situations situations that list can go on and on and on and guess who's gonna have to deal with all these stressed out people <laughs> management and i'm gonna go more into that is this my stance forever no i just think until the economy shows some type of um i don't know stability then at that point I think it would be a good time to try to go into management. But right now, like I said, the stress, another thing that I've talked about before is basically when you're going to be a manager, what are you doing? You're starting to try to climb that ladder. I think in this season that we're in as a country, um, economically with all these companies, the ladder and the time that it takes from you to get from the bottom of that ladder to, to where it's worth it is going to extend. Why? Because of cost cutting, because of hiring freezes. And that's with all of these companies. And back to the stress issue. I've dealt with countless of managers. Let's talk about my job, Amazon. I've dealt with literally hundreds of AMs, which are managers. And I'll be honest, a lot of them grow in their, in their role. They grow as a manager. They don't come into the company with awesome management skills. They may come in with some smarts. They just got out of college. But management and engagement is something that I see them grow into. Now, this is what I see. I believe there's going to be a whole lot of people who is going to be breaking. Remember I said people are going to be breaking and snapping during these times? When do people usually snap? When that pressure really hits them. Whether it be in the gas station, that's, that's why I say don't be arguing over pump four, number four. You feel me? Let them have it. I had to check myself a few times. I'm about to pull into a pump. Somebody start in. You know, I'll be like, ah. <laughs> you act like I'm looking the other way. Listen, because it's the stress, it's the pressure that's going to burst certain people. And what's one of those places that causes pressure? Work. So a lot of these managers are going to be dealing with employees. Let's just say the work is just a, a regular work day where it gets tough, but they're dealing with so much outside life pressure that it causes them to break at work. This is going to be a new situation where people are breaking down at work, weeping, crying. 
what are they gonna do? <laughs> Walk up, hey, um, let's make sure we make great. <laughs> I'm like, that's not going to work. This is a new time we're going in, and I think we're gonna see new situations like that. And that's more so on the light side. That's somebody crying. Imagine the people that's gonna be snapping with frustration, snapping with anger. <laughs> <laughs> let a manager walk up talking about um yeah you know i know you missed a few um standard work you go <laughs> i'm telling you watch people gonna be like <laughs> flipping over tables and we laugh about it and it sounds funny but i guarantee we are going to see that happen and a brother like me <laughs> ain't trying to deal with it you feel me at least not on the management end you feel me i will help to deal with it as a co-worker if i see somebody dealing with somebody i'm real good at you know peeping people and i don't talk to people at work but if i see somebody like going through it that's the reason why i would reach out hey you all right everything cool hey man you need a drink you need a sn i mean not a drink <laughs> not a drink you need a drink. You feel me? They be like, yeah, give, give me something on the rocks. Hey, hey, bro, you're not gonna get me and you fired. A drink, <laughs> H2O. You know, I would try to get somebody something from the snack bar because that's one thing that we're gonna need during this time with everybody going through financial pressure, especially in the workplace, is people and friends, network, community. But on the management side, I think it's just gonna be stress on a whole nother level of them trying to make rates. How do you push a team <laughs> To, to, to work harder to hit these unreasonable rates when everything in their life is falling apart. And on top of it, the very people pushing them ain't even paying them what they need to get paid to live, to survive, not to thrive and go on vacation, to just survive. Y'all, it's going to get real. And what sucks is I've always seen the friction between salary um, managers and, and hourly associates. I've seen it. You know, I'm, I'm in Amazon. <laughs> you feel me? I've been in all row from one to three, from the bottom to right above the manager and working with the managers. I've seen it all. And the main thing I see is both sides don't get the full clear vision of each other, especially, I'm not even going to lie, employees towards the managers. These managers got pressures on them as well. We're going to talk about that in a second. But I guarantee you, it's going to be people in those frustrating times who may just snap on their manager because that's the one delivering the message. And then don't let it be a manager who's not, you feel me, who's not prepared for this upcoming work atmosphere. And let's say they're dealing with stuff as well because they will too. And then they go to an employee that's dealing with something. Yo, that's just not going to go well. So I think we're going to enter in a culture in the workplace that's going to be a whole lot more stressful, a whole lot more tense, especially as things progress and continue to get worse in our economy. Now, for like the management side, one thing I'm not trying to deal with is the pay for Amazon and other companies. When you're going into these salary roles, not just with Amazon, this is with Amazon, but other companies as well. You get into the salary roles. They're like, oh, this is what you're making. You're like, yeah, OK, cool. They're like, oh, but, you know, not all of it is your base pay. Some of that is RSUs, basically stock. <sighs> you feel me like. <sighs> I, just, I don't really know. You I can't touch too much on that. But I, me, I would have to see some sort of stability in the stock market, in the economy before I would want to put myself in that situation. But that's just me. But anyways, man, what do you guys think about this? I definitely think that's a topic on its own. I could do a whole nother video on the work culture and where it's headed. Because remember when they had a lot of those walkouts and all that last year, I was saying, listen, that's going to be done with because these layoffs is going to come next year. The power is going to be back in the employer's hand. I said that last year. So now that we're here and it's only going to get worse, it's like people's hands are going to be tied because we're just about at that point to where people can't even live off of their wages. But it's like they can't <laughs> feel me walk out and do a protest because you feel me? All these companies is cutting cost, which means getting rid of employees. So it's like who wants to, you know, play around on that line? I think that is going to cause a difficult workplace and a culture in the workplace that's going to be new. And I think the word that I'm looking for, I can't even really think of the word, but I think, I know this may sound weird, I think it's going to be sad. I think we're gonna see depression shoot up, we're gonna see anxiety shoot up, all this stuff. So listen, I'm gonna stop there. Because like I've said, I don't ever want nobody getting fear or getting scared or anything like that. But that was just my opinion. I thought I wanted to put that out there, especially because I was checking up on the application that I put in for the AM and I heard 
other AM roles are supposed to open up at a building that I wanted to go to, I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna hold off. And also one of the other reasons why, I'm feeling more comfortable in my role at corporate. Yes, it's still a thousand and two things to do, you feel me? And this can change tomorrow, so don't hold me to this. <laughs> but I finally hit a point where it's like, okay, this is bearable. So if I can bear this and I'm not feeling anxiety no more, I'm at a point to where I've learned the role and I got way more understanding. So, all right, cool, if I can just hold this down, I'd rather stay here until there's some sort of stability in our economy. But that's just my opinion. What's your opinion on that? Let me know in the comment section. Let's talk about it. If you guys like this video, man, be sure to hit the like button. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And yes, I'm also an artist. I said it earlier. My new EP just came out. It's called Dreams and Motivation. I go by the name of SB. If you look that up on Spotify, iTunes, actually, I'm going to have the link in the description so you can click it and then go check it out. Show your boy some love. Other than that, I'm going to catch you on the next video. Yes, we going live this week. So be sure to mark your calendars this Thursday at 7. Do we do 7 or 7? 30 i forgot i think we do seven this thursday seven o'clock we going live be sure to tune in anyways it's your boy sb let's go sp welcome to the land of the motivated motivated value welcome to the land of the motivated motivated Setting goals and overtaking, overtaking. I'm talking big moves, corporations, corporations. I'm talking big moves, corporations, corporations. Talking low, acting loud, acting loud, acting loud. Talking.